all right hello guys welcome back to the channel this is Ezekiel Akimbola speaking in this channel we teach train we um, go through videos that walk you through how to incorporate your business how to register your business how to do different things on Facebook ads and every other thing but in this particular video I want to walk you through how you can confirm a payment on this particular new accredited on this particular new um, you know CAC um, CRP portal it's currently called the ICRP portal right so i know a lot of people have been having payment issues so in this particular video we're walking you through how to confirm your payment so without any further ado let's go into the video hope you are subscribed to this channel right so let's take this first name as an example this name as let's assume it has been paid for and you want to verify the payment all you need to do is come to action and you would see check payment status you click on check payment status it will load up when it load up it is trying to check and confirm the payment status of the payment that was made and what that implies is that if there's a payment already subsist, subsisting or existing rather uh, on this particular name, it will rectify the payment and bring the payment up. So if the payment is not available on this particular name, it will load up and go down to payment so that payment will be made for this new name. I believe you understand what I'm trying to say. So in essence, this particular, uh, this particular process is very, very crucial for you if you have made payment initially and that payment is yet to be what to be verified so this is the only way you can use to check status of the payment and the payment will load up and then it will give you something that you want right so the next thing i also want to walk you through apart this is for name reservation right so if you res reserved your name that's one of the ways you can use to go through with that so let's go through for the second option which is for the registration part so you click on registration once you get to registration you would check let's check let's wait for it to load up anyway network is very bad so that's why it's taking a whole lot of time to load up right so let's wait for it to load up and then we'll check from here right so let's see let's see let's see it is yet to load up okay it's on loading so you come to registration now so let's say you've done a name reservation it has been approved you now start registering the school and you want to pay for the school right what you need to do is simple come here to uh the name after it has been paid for and then click on not submit this is not submitted now you will see check payment status check payment status click on the check payment status and then immediately it will now for this one no payment was information found complete your application to make payment to submit right see that no payment was found on this particular one let's check another one uh, let's check this one check payment status and stamp duty so here now you can check status for payment for um, registration with CAC and also for stamp duty as well so you understand what I'm trying to say so it's actually a very simple process without any form of stress just click on it and then wait for it to load up when you are clicking on it make sure that you have a very good internet very important and make sure that you uh, you are able to wait as long as it will take for this verification to be carried out so if you don't wait properly it will be that by the time it is about to load that's when you are already tired of it and then you close it up so you need to be able to wait so these are the two ways that you can use to carry out the verification so if the verification is done what it means now for this one now it will load up and open up your registration modification and it has to click on it to either verify so two things will happen is either the payment will go through and then verify your payment or the the whole thing will go through and then we'll ask you to pay again depending on if the payment is confirmed now when i was previously recording this video before i stopped initially you can see that one also no payment was found so you would also need to make sure that um, you've been debited one apart from being debited you have been able to um what's the guy you've been debited and you've also have you also have what's it called um uh rrr remitter receipt the remitter is very important if you don't have a remitter receipt then it is more or less um a there are more less chances that okay it is remitter that is yet to process the payment though which can which can be an unlikely uh scenario right so you must make sure that you have made the payment and the payment has been confirmed as well i believe this video has actually helped someone if it has please subscribe to this channel follow me for more content like this and also please and please click on the notification bell so that once you see my, once i release videos like this that is helping you you will be able to get notification and then you will be able to watch 
this video. Thank you. My name is Agumbola Ezekiel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.